Dear friends, hope all are doing well. Today, I am going to discuss the musculocutaneous nerve. The musculocutaneous nerve is one of the upper limb's major nerves, especially in the arm. It arises from the lateral cord of the brachial plexus. Please see my brachial plexus video for better understanding. For your convenience, the link is given in the description box. The musculocutaneous nerve plays a key role in elbow flexion, supination of the forearm, and shoulder reduction. Please see the illustrations for your understanding. In addition to being responsible for flexion, supination, and adduction, it also receives the sensation from the skin of the lateral side of the forearm. Now, coming to the course of the musculocutaneous nerve. In the axilla or armpit, the musculocutaneous nerve initially parallels the lateral aspect of the median nerve and third part of the axillary artery. Subsequently, it traverses into the anterior or flexor compartment of the arm and pierces or penetrates the coracobrachialis muscle before its insertion into the humerus bone. At this juncture, the coracobrachialis muscle acquires its nerve supply from the musculocutaneous nerve. Please see the blinking blue arrow that shows the nerve to coracobrachialis. In the illustration, the dotted line represents the course of the musculocutaneous nerve passing within the coracobrachialis muscle. After emerging from the coracobrachialis muscle, it runs downwards laterally, across the front of the arm, and lies between the biceps brachii and brachialis muscles. Here it supplies both the heads of biceps brachii and brachialis muscles. In addition, it also gives articular branches to the elbow joint and a nutrient branch to the humerus bone. After innervating the anterior compartment muscles, that is, coracobrachialis biceps brachii and brachialis, the musculocutaneous nerve travels lateral to the tendon of biceps brachii, then it pierces the deep fascia and enters the superficial fascia. Now, it is called as lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm. Further, it enters the cubital fossa and lateral aspect of the forearm and innervates the skin of the lateral cubital and lateral forearm regions. Now, what are the branches given by the musculocutaneous nerve? 1. Muscular branches to coracobrachialis, biceps brachii and brachialis. 2. Articular branch to the elbow joint. 3 nutrient branch to humerus bone, and finally, 4. Lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm is a continuation of a musculocutaneous nerve that supplies the skin of the lateral part of the cubital fossa and the lateral part of the forearm till the base of the thena eminence. What are the movements maintained by the musculocutaneous nerve? 1. Coracobrachialis maintains shoulder flexion and adduction. Two. Biceps brachii is helpful for elbow flexion and forearm supination. Finally, 3. Brachialis is responsible for flexion of the forearm at the elbow joint. Now coming to the clinical anatomy of musculocutaneous nerve, lesion or injury to the musculocutaneous nerve. The main cause of the lesion is trauma, surgery, or nerve compression. What are the symptoms of musculocutaneous nerve lesions? Easy to identify. Weakness in elbow flexion, forearm supination, and loss of sensation on the lateral side of the forearm. At last, what are the diagnostic tests available for musculocutaneous nerve lesions? 1. Physical examination, to identify the weak flexion and loss of forearm supination. 2. Electromyography, or EMG or nerve conduction study to evaluate the nerve function. Finally, three, either using MRI or ultrasound to visualize the nerve for the extent of injury. Dear medicos, hope you all understand about the musculocutaneous nerve. We will meet once again in another video. Please like my channel, comment, share and subscribe. Good day, all.